Hi, this is Crime and Partner, and welcome back to Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Now, where we last left off, uh, I just defeated Scylla and gotten the Crystal Cloak. We're going to go ahead and move forward, checking out the rest of this uh, underwater cavern. And also fighting some toads. Not much to them. They're one-shotted. We're going to push this block over here, because, yeah, that doesn't look like fun, but... <laughs> Oh, that's so beautiful. It's kind of, uh, I guess you could say revenge for how many times they whooped up on me because of this uh, dinky short range uh, knuckle. There we go. Again, water's bad. I, I don't really want to be touching that right now. I'll make a point though to come back later. For now, let's just jump on these little ice blocks. Yeah, and they're just ob as obnoxious as Fleeman almost. Alright, so jumping. Alright. Um, obviously, we can't get here. I can't fall through the floor. Not a whole lot I can do at this point. Just keep moving onward. Again, there's a, a bat pentagram, but to get it would require me taking damage. Well, let's go ahead. Okay, just a pentagram. Wasn't too much damage. Uh, I would hardly say it was worth it, though. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and... I can't get up there, so we're gonna go ahead and fall down. And we'll get another life max up. I'm not too worried about the mushrooms. If we go forward, it's the ferryman that I should have seen earlier. Let's see what he has to say. I'll take you to a place which might be interesting for you. <laughs> All right, lead on. Yeah, I can't say there, there's got to be a lot of job security, too, in being a ferryman, similar to the librarian. I mean, he's down here in this dank castle, and, and, and who, who's he going to ferry across? I mean, how many people actually come and uh, need his services, really? And we go over here, and we get the merman statue. Now, if you go to the relics and look at what the merman statue does, it says it summons the oarsman. But, but what are you thinking? What are you talking about? I mean, the oarsman's right over here. Well, what about that one place where uh, that large expanse of water that we ran into earlier? Maybe he'll come over there now. Maybe we should check it out. <laughs> Anyway, that's what I think I'll be doing. Well, actually, I can't do that. I lied. Um, remember that long uh, drop I, I took uh, back from the, the waterfall? Yeah, I'm not getting up that. So I'm going to have to check that at another time when I come back here from the other side. Anyway, we'll go in here now. And we're back at the beginning of the castle. Another life max. And a switch that lowers the little gate, which takes me back to the moat. All right. So where do we go from here? Hmm. Well, actually, there is one place I did not show you, and I just 
forgot to. Uh, there's one more uh, blue door that we need to go to. Now, for the sake of time, I'm going to go ahead and get there off screen. But let, let me get past these zombies really quick. Just to give you an idea of where I'm going. Okay. So anyway, if you look on the map, I'm at the flashing point um, on the map. And if you remember where we fought Slogrum Guy Bon, it was, what, north, west of here? In a large giant room. Well anyway, if you'll notice on the map, there was actually a door to the left I didn't go through. That door will lead to a blue key area. So that's where I'm going to be heading to uh, move on. So anyway, I will go ahead and meet you there. And we're back, finally there. So we move forward and here is the blue door I forgot to show you earlier. Anyway, continue left and... What? Oh, hey, it's Maria. So, we meet again, Alucard. It seems so. As friendly as ever, I see. It's strange. This castle is different than I remember it. This castle is a creature of chaos. It may take many incarnations. So I can't trust my memories, huh? Oh well, I'll do my best. Good luck. Yeah, they they don't uh they're shy. They don't say a whole lot to each other. Anyway, we are now in the chapel. Another save point. And we get an aquamarine. Um, this is similar to the zircon. It's just a little bit more valuable. And see what happens if you attack the bottom one without killing the top first. It rolls. Just something interesting to see. Onward, uh, corner guards not much to them. Basically, they just slide up and down um, the stairs. And another level. Okay, interesting thing about that spike ball. It can actually be killed, and if you happen to kill it, um, it has a, a common drop of an iron ball, but the rare drop for that thing is actually going to be something called the Axe Lord Armor. Now, later on I'll go ahead and see about getting one just to sh kind of try it out, but right now I'm kind of under some time constraints, so I'll, I'll, I'll show you a little later. And we got some goggles. Let's see what the goggles do. Uh, goggles are actually weaker in this case. While they do raise intelligence, they lower my defense, meaning worthless. And we have a big sword. Um, the, the little swords can be taken out. Not having much luck here. Alright, there we go. And I got a broadsword out of the deal. Um, Nothing really that great, but again, I mean, how often are the items that great? A night shield. This is actually going to be an upgrade for my leather shield, so we'll go ahead and increase it. Uh, increasing my defense one point. If we go over here, we have a little chapel room. Well, you know, why don't we uh, go ahead and confess our sins, shall we? Hmm, nothing. Um, interesting thing to note, you can actually gain an item or get attacked. Anyway, I'm running out of time, so that's it for this episode of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. 
This is Crime and Partner. Thanks for watching. See you next crime.